Welcome to another video. This is an MIT integration B problem, and I just want to give it a shot. Now, whenever you get any combination of a polynomial and an exponential function with a negative sign, your mind should start thinking of the error function, or at least you should think of the Gaussian integral, because somehow this is going to show up. Now, what should you do? Remember, this would be easier if the derivative of what you have here is what you have here, but it doesn't look like it. This is even bigger than this, so we can't do that. We have to do a u substitution. And the easiest u substitution I can think of is to make this the square of something and the derivative of it will be one of these. So let's do a t substitution, and after the t substitution, We'll see where life takes us. Let's get into the video. So I can make what I'm about to do obvious. I'm going to rewrite this function here, this integrand. So I'm going to say this is the same thing. Let's call this i so I don't keep writing it. So I'm going to say i can be written as the integral from 0 to infinity of x to the fourth. I'm going to write it as x squared squared. That's x to the fourth. e to the negative x squared squared. So the only thing missing is one x. I'm going to put that x here, x dx. This always makes u substitution easy, but I'm going to do a t substitution because I need the u later. So let's say let t be equal to x squared. So I know that dt must be 2x dx. So, uh, but what I want is x dx. So I might as well divide both of these by 2. So I have 1 half of dt will be 1 half of this. That means this guy is gone. Okay, I'm good. Uh, what else do I need? I don't need anything else. Oh, I did a t substitution. I have to consider the bounds also. So what happens? What's the value of t when x equals 0? It will be 0 squared. That's 0. And what's the value of t when x is infinity? It's going to be infinity squared is infinity. So nothing changes. So what I have is my i is still the same thing as the integral from 0 to infinity of... Now this is going to become t squared. This is going to become e to the negative t squared. And I'm going to have x dx will just be half dt. So I'm going to write dt here and pull the one half all the way to the back. So we have transformed this into something this simple. Not simple, simpler at least. Now, do we know how to integrate this? I'm going to ignore these bounds for now. And I'm going to just integrate this. Do we know how to? Well, if you split this, you can do integration by... You can do... Um, Integration by parts. So what we're going to do is we're going to split this again, just like I split this into, into this and this. I'm going to split this into t and t so that the derivative of this will be one of the t's. So let's go again. So we got i will be equal to, this is what I'm talking about. Now, I know how to integrate this. And I know how to differentiate this. We have to do integration by parts. Now, for integration by parts, we already know we will be integrating this. That's why we split this and we'll be differentiating this. So this is going to be our u and this is going to be our dv. So we have u be equal to what we want to differentiate, t. That means that du will be equal to... Okay, now we're going to say dv equals the other one, this one, which is going to be um, t e to the negative t squared. And then we're going to have our v will be the integral of this. So let's try and compute this quickly. How do we get dv? Well, if we want to integrate this, we're going to say that what we have is we're going to do a u substitution. Now, I can't use u anymore. I'll do v. So we'll say um, v sub. <laughs> so we say, let v be equal to t squared. 
so that um, half dv is equal to t dt. Okay, just like we did here, the same thing, exactly. Uh, don't forget, don't worry about the bounds. We're not bringing in the bounds for now. We just want to work on this and rewrite what our answer is going to be. So the integral of t e to the negative t squared dt, you can easily write as the integral of e to the negative t squared times t dt. Okay, so we got t dt here, that's half dv. So this is equal to e to the negative t squared can be written as e integral of e to the negative u times t dt is half dv, or not u, come on, it's v. So used to that, okay, multiplied by one half dv, okay? And we know if we, this one half, if we integrate negative v, this is gonna become, this is just one half negative, negative one half of e to the negative v. That's it. So when we integrate this, we're gonna come back here and say our v is negative one half e to the negative v. That's what's gonna be here. I need to move this to the side. That's it. So we've been able to find this and then we can go in and do our partial fraction, no partial fraction, integration by parts. That's what we're doing here. So we just found this one. Now, by IBP, we know that I is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. Remember, I'm bringing in the bounds now. So this is gonna be the limit as I need to bring in another variable, which is gonna be as r goes to infinity of uv. What is uv? Oh, there's one half. Ah, oh, remember the one, okay, I'll put the one half in here. One half of uv, which is going to be, where is u? And this is v, so t times this is gonna be, oh, t times this with the one half is gonna be negative one fourth. So I need to write that. And then t e to the negative t squared evaluated from zero to r as r goes to infinity. That's the first part. I think I have to do that. It's minus the integral. Now, let's see. V du, v du, oh, it's just this. So it's gonna be negative one over two e to the negative t squared dt. Okay, that's it. So we just need to evaluate this and we need to evaluate this and we get our answers. I'm gonna try to write this nicely just one more time. I'm gonna pull the negative one over four to the back. So this is equal to negative one over four times the limit as r goes to infinity of, you see this can be written as t over e to the t squared. Yes, it's gonna be t, t, over e to the t squared. That's it. Evaluated from zero to r. And then this minus times this minus gives us a plus. We have one half, I think. Is it one half? Hey, there was supposed to be a one half on the outside. <laughs> I almost missed it. So this is gonna be one fourth. Okay, nice. It's now one fourth of, what do we have? The integral from zero to infinity of e to the negative t squared dt. And we're almost there because, you see, this is a special integral. Okay, you can't answer this question if you don't know the value of this integral. This is going to be negative one over four times. Now let's evaluate times the limit as r goes to infinity of, now see what happens here. If I plug in r here, it's going to be r over e to the r squared minus zero over e to the zero squared. So that's what it's gonna be. Plus one over four of this integral. Now this integral has a value which you have to know, okay? 
it's going to be square root of pi over 2. No other explanation. Now, I made a video about this a while ago, so make sure you just check out the video. I'll leave the link in the description. This has to be known. Okay, and how does this end? Let's evaluate this. Mm, da, da, da. This is going to be infinity over infinity. Okay, infinity over infinity will be indeterminate form. This is going to be 0 over 1 which is zero. So we don't need to worry about this. This is going to become zero. Can I just delete that part? So what do we get here? Because we have infinity over infinity situation, we can actually apply L'Hopital's rule. Now watch. I don't have space. If you apply L'Hopital's rule here, you differentiate the top, you're going to get one. You differentiate the bottom, you're going to get something. You're going to get r, you're going to get 2re to the r squared. Well, since you have 1 here and you have something infinitely large as r goes to infinity, this is going to be a constant over infinity which will give you 0. So 0 times anything is 0. So everything here becomes 0. Over 8. So, looks like the answer to this integral is the square root of pi over 8. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.